Hey guys, it's time to talk about the things that Samsung will be doing for the first time with the upcoming Galaxy S9, which includes dual camera. Yes, it's done with the Note 8. I know that. Thank you. But still, it's going to be the first for the S series. Some form of modularity will be there. It will be the first phone exclusively to have the Snapdragon 845 CPU. And now for the first time, a 3D facial scanner. Oh, that sounds very familiar. Hmm. Now, unlocking it is as easy as looking at it and swiping up and, you know, DENIED! Yes, according to a new report, the Galaxy S9 will have a 3D sensor on the front camera, in other words, a face ID. You might want to settle down for this fanboys, no matter how you look at this, this is indeed without a doubt inspired by Apple. The current facial scanner on the Galaxy S8 is nowhere near the level of face ID. Samsung knows this and as the great KGI said, after seeing Apple's face ID, other competitors are making moves towards building a 3D facial scanner. Seems like this is exactly what's happening according to Apple, their face ID has a 1 in a million chance of being bypassed versus a 1 in a 50,000 chance for Touch ID. It can recognize you even if you change your appearance. So it's clearly more secure and it has allowed Apple to go even as far as ditching their Touch ID completely and just depend on this new Face ID. And I kind of feared the same from Samsung. We already see the fingerprint scanner on the back at awkward position. I mean, if they did end up making a fail-proof ultra-fast 3D facial scanner, then I don't think we will see the fingerprint scanner on the back and that space may be utilized for making the design better, fitting the high 24 megapixel plus 12 megapixel camera combination sensor that they recently announced and uh, again there's no news or rumor on this but it does seem like a possibility that Samsung can take this step. Guys you may say that Apple is behind in terms of design and everything but they are way ahead when it comes to other things they've been working on. Their 3D sensing camera tech is two years ahead of competition and just like the headphone jack the fingerprint scanner may be coming to an end. The Face ID as of now is untested and if it works great, I'm 100% sure that Samsung will definitely go for it. Again, the iPhone X is just some days away now. We'll see how that will work. Right now, only Samsung is capable of bringing something that can challenge Apple's 3D camera system. Samsung can beat Apple at their own game if they manage to release the Galaxy S9 with a 3D facial scanner in February because as we know, Apple is facing delay issues with the iPhone X. There will be shortages, so Samsung can capitalize on this golden opportunity. Also in the news, we have some series of Galaxy S9 tweets from Venya Gaskin who made a lot of leak coverage for the Galaxy S8 and iPhone 10. He showed the S9 and S9 Plus logos, S9 and S9 Plus highlighted in blue. He mentioned these model numbers, SMG 960F unlocked single SIM model, uh, FD unlocked dual SIM model, G960U will be the unlock model for US and G960V Verizon US model. Both the S9 and S9 Plus will have 6GB of RAM along with 128GB of internal storage with the SD card slot as well for the storage expansion. It will be powered by Snapdragon 845 for the US market and the rest of the world will get the Exynos 9 octa-core processor. He also mentions that Galaxy S9 will have improved dual camera setup over the Note 8. I talked about the camera in detail in my previous video. Basically, Samsung introduced two amazing new sensors. One is a 12 megapixel sensor uh, with smaller pixel size and the other one is a 24 megapixel sensor and both could end up in the Galaxy S9. Both will have amazing depth capabilities. The camera has been 12 megapixel since the Galaxy S7, so a boost in megapixel count would be awesome indeed. And one of my followers on Twitter sent me this, which shows a game center menu that pops up on Samsung phones. It shows a mysterious device with a bezel-less display and a place for a fingerprint scanner on the front. Now, I don't think it's the S9, it's not even the bezel-less A2018 series, uh, which we have seen in the recent renders that the fingerprint scanner is on the back. So it could be the Galaxy J2018 series. Again, this is a hint. Something like this happened when they announced the Galaxy S8. So, and the exciting news for the Galaxy S8 users, uh, someone actually asked Samsung that, will the S8 user get portrait mode update with similar implementation as of Pixel 2? And uh, he got a reply from Samsung, thank you for contacting Samsung Electronics. We appreciate the chance to assist you. Kindly note that regarding your query, unfortunately there's no information yet, but we hope 
that you will get the portrait mode update with the next software update. This is a great news. Samsung could introduce its very own version of portrait mode to the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus uh, done completely by software, no need of a second sensor, just like the Pixel phone. So again, we just gotta wait for this to happen. So yeah guys, the Galaxy S9 will have a 3D facial scanner, a technology very similar to Apple's Face ID. And with this new 3D scanner, Samsung might be able to add some amazing new features to the Galaxy S9 that we haven't seen before. And uh, again, like I said, the Face ID on the iPhone is untested. We still have to see how it will go in real life. If it will be a success, then there's a really high chance that Samsung will go for it. And we might see, might see an end of the fingerprint scanner. Again, that's my opinion. I want to hear your thoughts on this and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.